Serious, what's something you thought only existed in P but actually experienced in real life? Girls actually saying stuff like frick me daddy or your dong is so big. I laughed the first time this happened to me. Once had a hookup call me dad. Dad. Recently had a one night stand with a girl that legit wanted me to throat frick her. Like laying on her back with her head hanging off the edge of the bed and just like yeah go to town. I stopped a couple times like are you okay and she told me to stop stopping so I was like frick it lol. Honestly for me it's easier than giving a BJ since I feel like I can actually relax my throat. Foot jobs. I've only seen them in P and they just never seemed hot. Never once felt that I needed to try that. Then one night, a girl I'm hooking up with puts both her feet on my dong and starts stroking. Didn't really do anything for me but she seemed to enjoy it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. Eating a bee out and giving a bee a foot massage ain't even the same freaking thing. Met a chick on one of the apps. We went out for coffee. Coffee turned into back to my place to listen to music. Before I know it she's taking my pants off and telling me to go in my bedroom. She comes in with her bag. Turns out it is full of lube. Dildos and one of those plug and giant massager things, Hitachi, and she just asks is it okay gets naked. Starts blowing me and jamming her devices everywhere in herself and led to some pretty ridiculous sex. We end up getting Chinese food afterwards. She ends up leaving. Calls me an hour later crying in hysterics saying she was in a car accident. I'm naturally concerned. She says she blacked out. And reveals to me she's bipolar and has a sex addiction and she can't see me anymore. 10 stroke 10 would do again. Now this sounds like an adventure. Someone literally slapping the crap out of my clitoris. Although he might have done that because of B. But still. Weird and it wasn't pleasant. I got with a girl who had an oral fixation once. People think they know what that means. But they don't. The condom broke so she just sucked me off. For an hour and a half, I nutted like 4 times and every time she'd just chill for like 30 seconds then go right back to it without me asking and she was just thrilled to do it. It got to a point where it didn't even feel good anymore, but I didn't want to stop her cause I knew it was a once in a lifetime chance. Part of me thought she just really liked me, then she told me her favorite food is popsicles. I carry a ring with me at all times so if I ever see this girl again I can propose. CMS. Had a GF who would legit get angry if I didn't see M inside or let her swallow it. Hot so I didn't mind but never thought there were actually girls who had a fetish for CM like that. Sticking a thumb, or any other finger, in your partner's mouth. A guy stuck his thumb in my mouth and I had no idea what to do with it at first. You chew it. Girls that moan while sucking dong. I always thought it was just a pee thing to turn on the viewer until it happened to me and kinda weirded me out. Like did she really enjoy it that much? I love moaning while sucking dong just like I love when my partner moans while eating me out. It's so hot. When I was younger I was leaving a bar just outside of a big town. I was pulling up to the intersection and two very drunk girls banged on my window wanting a lift to the town center. Being a ridiculously stupid, naive but generally nice person I offered them a lift. I was going that way anyway. Throughout the journey the girl in the back was being flirty but just drunk crap. You should come out with us. Come on we don't know anyone please. ETC etc. Anyway we pulled up at a car park behind the bar they wanted to go to and bang she just climbed over the seat. Sat in my lap and just tongued me. From nowhere. And her friend was just stroking my face and laughing and then someone started kneading my balls like two hard boiled eggs in a tube sock. Anyway before anything happened they jumped out and laugh loads. Flashed me and ran off to the bar. My co-worker told me she is a cam girl. She used to take photos for other girls. She explained to me that she would sleep with the girls sometimes. She also said that I could be her photographer if I wanted to before she kissed me on the cheek. Laughed and then went home. I was rock hard for a month. I can't believe the dong being hard for a month man. Banging you high school teacher. Of course it was several years after high school. But there was still a 22 year age gap. She took pretty good care of herself so she was still good looking. Toned, a little freaky. It was a great confidence booster for myself since I've always struggled with self esteem. Who would want a chubby, shy, nerdy guy, milf teachers, 
It turns out. Having a female house guest and her friend come to your bedroom wearing only towels and asking if you're interested in a threesome. Girls calling you daddy. I really had no expectation that any woman would pull that out in any kind of serious fashion. Then one day a girl let a rewoodity slip out at me. Afterwards I asked her about it and she confessed that it was a thing for her and would I please call her princess. There is nothing that I doubt exists or has existed. However, I never thought I'd be one to actually see him in a chick's eye. Squirting. Yeah, same here. Except I was 17 and it was 16 years ago in my truck and pee wasn't near as common. I had no clue what happened and she freaked out. It hit me in the face. Not because it was aimed that way but because her vagina was pointed at my closed truck window and it hit the window and splashed in my face. Ah, to be a kid again. Spanking and strangling. And not like, a little but really hard. Just normal good looking girls walking down the streets wants me to be strangling them almost to blackouts and spanking them as hard as I can manage and still wants more. It's just, so weird to me. But I'll do it. I'm not one to judge. I miss living in the middle of nowhere because I want to be spanked hard enough I scream but now I've moved to town it requires making sure neighbor isn't home and then still can't really relax. Have to say but licking and eating each other's asses. I always imagined those asses to be cleaned with all kinds of chemicals and soaps to even be an average appetizer. I was shocked to hear people I know do this. Met some girls that really do like to gag on the dong. Always figured that was part of the whole weird domination thing in P, where the guy treats her like crap. But nope, you're into that and that's just fine. So my experience was the exact opposite. I learned how to pleasure a woman by watching P. More specifically, intimate lesbian P. Girls definitely know what they're doing down there. So I watched with a pen and pad instead of tissue paper or a sock. 10 stroke 10 would recommend. Not going to lie, same for me. I was a very late beginner, and eventually I started just watching and paying attention. Lesbian and female solo, all homemade. It paid off. First time I ever did something with a woman was when I was 22. She was lying down, said I could do whatever I wanted to her, so I gave her head. Her reaction was, word for word, wow, are you sure you're virgin? Women who would be sincerely into dominating a guy telling him what to do. Just kidding I still haven't found one, but I'm holding out hope. There's a reason professional doms are a thing and cater predominantly, and dominantly, to men. Giving a girl the kind of orgasms that make her say I love you only to immediately backpedal and say that's not what I meant dart women that love giving BJ's giving a woman an anal orgasm. Only happened once. That look in her eyes of my god is this really happening, in a good way, will live with me forever. Masochism. I met a girl in my late teens who wanted me to bite her neck and breasts so hard while having sex I thought my teeth were going to sink in her skin. I was on vacation in a group tour which stopped in her town. The affair lasted 3 days. She came to say goodbye the last day and I was ashamed cause her neck was black and blue from the bites. I think it is spelled masochism. Women who are into slapping or other more abusive treatment in bed. I had an ex who liked being slapped and spit on. And nothing turtles the penis more than an art major calling you daddy while asking you to hit her in the face. P moans. I was with a girl after college and she started making the most ridiculous P moans while I was doing little more than kissing her neck and breasts. At one point, I had to stop and ask her about it, because it was seriously making me soft as a bag of marshmallows. She said her last BF was really into it, but was pretty insecure. On a whim, I asked if she wanted me to go down on her, and I reassured her that she should make noise whenever she wanted to. Not for me. It was very hot. It started pin drop silent, and then I could hear every breath and gasp as she enjoyed it. As it began to build, she actually got louder and louder, but it was completely different to the pee moans from earlier. She was actually trying to not be so loud, so hearing her given and actually moan started to drive me wild. After a fantastic, leg shaking orgasm, I got on top, and we had amazing sex. I was actually surprised how much I liked taking a former pee moaner to an actual moaner. Somewhat ironically, if I do stumble across a super mainstream pee scene, it reminds me of that woman, and makes me very aroused.
I had a one night stand with a girl who was a screamer. Really weirded me out because she would scream like she was afraid for her life. Never got to ask her about it. But if that was natural for her, then I wouldn't have been into her. Anyway, it just completely threw me for a loop. Well, I've done it. I've read all the best comments comments. Off to Pornhub now. My Pokedex has been heavily updated. So I recently got a job as a pizza delivery driver. On my third day of delivering, I got a BJ from a customer. The story goes like this. I was taking a pizza to this woman in a hotel, which isn't uncommon because our delivery area is close to an airport. The delivery instructions say to call when in the lobby, but they didn't opt for contactless delivery. So I arrived and I called her in while in the lobby to let her know that I'm in the lobby and that I would be at her room in a moment. I head up and knock on the door to her room. At the moment she opens the door, I get a face full of lingerie. I don't mention it or anything because I'm like oh I am sure she has someone else in there already plus I'm super awkward with people anyway. So I hand her the pizza and she says she has to get her cash. But she invited me in. As she's handing me her payment, she asks if I want an extra tip. I'm like of course, I'll take anything I can get and she's like well how about a BJ I kind of just stood there for a moment because it was surreal. It truly was like a scene out of a pee. Obviously I take her up on the offer because that's a once in a lifetime opportunity right there. I felt awful afterwards because she asked for the pizza to be free and I agreed. But on my way out, I accidentally grabbed her cash anyways because I'm awkward and forgot since my mind was blown just a second ago. TL. DR. I got BJ while delivering in exchange for free food and she still ended up paying for her pizza. Japanese girls moaning. Always thought that they exaggerated their moans until I had an exchange in Tokyo for a month. Bro. Being called daddy. Like, we were both virgins. She had never even been kissed or had a boyfriend before me. I gotta say, I like it. The daddy thing is very common. My roommate liked to walk around in her underwear and we eventually started banging semi-frequently. It was a pretty sweet arrangement to be living with a booty call. Your bro should made the decision you were going to be banging before she did the underwear thing. XGF jerked me off in the backseat of her parents car while her parents were driving she did it underneath a sweater and right when I came she went down and swallowed my load. Risky times I'm convinced her mom knew because we did this multiple times lol. Wow that's hot. Yes I was a pool boy in CT for a few summers and would be left alone at houses to vacuum pools and clean filters. There was one house where the woman was recently a widow. And as I am doing my job headphones on as usual I look up and she's just standing there naked with an inviting look on her face. Mind you I am 25 at the time and in my best physical appearance years. She was in her early 60s but was once a trophy wife so was certainly attractive still. We had sex every two weeks for several months even after the fall came and the pools closed. When I was 19 I was a long haired shy agoraphobic guy. So I would go to a small hairdresser's to get my hair cut in an effort to avoid the crowds. The woman who cut my hair was an older woman. Maybe late 40s or early 50s. She was kind of a hippie. No kids, no husband. Believed in spiritual crystals and that kind of stoner crap. Slightly alternative. In front of others she treated me normally but when we were alone she would often caress my shoulders during cutting my hair and later on would get my opinion on clothes she would try on. She would occasionally flirt. But I was shy at the time and wasn't sure how I felt about it. It all seemed so surreal and I wasn't willing to make a move in case I had read the situation wrong. I wasn't even sure I wanted to. Nowadays I have a bit of a thing for milfs and looking back on things has made me realize that yeah, she was was into younger guys and trying to frick me. I'll never 100% know, but I never saw her do anything like that with any other person she cut the hair off, so I guess older women who want young men exist. Squirting was the big one for me. I literally never thought it was a real thing because it just seemed like the most obviously fake thing I had ever seen in pee next to the so called lesbians. But sure enough, the last 6 sexual partners I've had have been squirters and did it nearly every time we had sex. Also, women being into really hardcore degradation, like choking, gagging and being abused until they're crying. 
It's not something that actively gets me off but I have had partners who are into it and really understanding what makes someone enjoy it and that it's all enjoyable for them makes it a bit more pleasurable on my end. I could not believe it when I had my first squirter. What a glorious and messy experience. LOL. How about this? Things I filmed for P that I never knew existed as sexual fodder in real life. 1. Fingernail tapping on hard surfaces. That's it. Nothing sexual. 2. Dangling a shoe from a foot in a public setting. That's it. Nothing sexual. 3. A female chewing food while having her neck grasped but not choked. 4. Naked man lays on floor is licked from head to toe, with lots of saliva. 5. Belly punching. That's it. Nothing sexual. 6. Making someone eat frozen CM that has shaved pubic hair mixed into it. No kidding. <laughs> Sticking multiple fingers in. I was massaging my GF's vagina at first and then she asked if I wanted to go inside. I was weirdly surprised by the fact that I managed to get in one finger, let alone three lol. Then she told me to go to deeper and I stood there with a dopey expression thinking whoa, my hand is literally inside another human. Huh. While she was having the time of her life, it was super hot seeing her enjoy it though. Asians. The first time I saw an Asian outside P movie was when I was like 15 years old or something. Wait hold up. Went bowling with two friends. We all got drunk on cheap beer. Walked back to my place. They suggested we play strip twister. By the time we're all naked one decides the next step for losing is spankings. Finally one is lying on her stomach while I'm lightly whipping her while the other is blowing me. Only had sex with that one because the one getting whipped was my housemate's girlfriend. He was at work. I was a bit afraid that he'd be angry but saw me the next day and thought it was hilarious. Said he was just sad he wasn't there. A girl once threw herself at me repeatedly. She was decently attractive and I was, and still am a virgin. Back then I was like 23. I was just uncomfortable with having sex with someone without knowing literally anything about them. Not knowing what I was doing. And also I was in a supervisory position so it was immoral. The willingness of people to be open to grub sex. The amount of normal people who have kinky sides never fails to astound me. Hope one day all the sexual judgments we put on each other will dissolve soon so we can go live our lives. My experience was the opposite. The more BDSM fetish events I went to, the more my P search history changed. I saw so many things I was curious about while at parties that now my interests now are, um, extremely diverse. Compared to 10 years ago the availability of niche P is so much easier to find so I do appreciate that. I didn't really think a stepbrother kind of thing could happen till it happened to me but in the form of my cousin. Very attractive young lass who is far out of my league but wanted to frick me for whatever reason. I respectfully declined. But every time we get together for family events, she still tries me. Like oh could you help me lift this? You're just so strong. Or stopping abruptly in front of me to bend over to get something aren't of me run into her butt with my crotch. Always finding excuses to come over. Or get really close to me. I don't mind it. But did not want to risk complicating life with the family lol. You're doing the right thing. It didn't happen to me. Cause I'm still an introvert virgin. But my sister's old boyfriend told me his first time happened when he entered the wrong room at a Halloween party and walked onto the two hottest girls of the school. Who also happened to be sisters. Changing. And they just dragged him in and did the deed. I was skeptic about it for a while but one day we were hanging out and we encountered one of the girls who confirmed that the story was legit. It's still a lie. Honestly, people constantly going through the motions of sex purely for the enjoyment of others, deriving no satisfaction from it themselves. I dated this crazy sexy little brunette doctor. She kept wanting to have mock non-consensual sex, and she begged me for anal play. I was totally thrown by it. I thought it was only in P. My mom's very milfy friend. She was hot, married, and had a kid a few years younger than me. Hit on me often when my parents weren't around. We'd go over there on occasion or she would come by our house. One day things came to a head, so to speak, and, while it was pouring down rain outside, she wanted me to come over to her house. I declined. 
because I was incredibly, amazingly, painfully shy and introverted, and incredibly, amazingly stupid and didn't get the hint. Not until years and years later, this was the early 80s when this happened, did I happen to think about it and put two and two together. I told my mom about this recently, just a few weeks ago, actually, and instead of being shocked or all OMG, she said very matter of factly, that doesn't surprise me. She liked to throw it out there for all to see and latch on to. I guess I dodged a bullet from having my first time being with a MILF with 50 shades of STDs. At least, I keep telling myself that. Postscript. After that rainy day moment, never really heard from her again, until when I graduated high school. Among the checks I received from family and friends in the mail, she sent me one for $5. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.